both really hot. This is like prime gossip. She and Jenny are together. Yes! Not only did they kiss in the hallway, but later they took off all of their clothes and went into bed and f all night. Crazy girls are really good in bed, and I think Jenny probably is really good in bed. And Shan's really good in bed because she slept with everybody and their mother. Literally. I guess I'm excited about it because it's two characters that I that I know and love, and, and I'm curious to see how they would be together. It's like a chemistry experiment. I think I'm a shitty fan because I feel like in real life, they'd be good for each other. It's almost like they're in high school and Jenny's like the weirdo artsy girl with the glasses and Shane is like the football star and no one can hook up with Shane and then Jenny, the weirdo, hooks the football star. Um, everyone is very worried that Shane is going to lose herself, that Shane and Jenny together are no good at all. Not me, because I'm a Shenny fan. I was like the therapist for the lesbians. The first thing, the most important thing, is that you have to set boundaries and not always know where the other person is all the time. No stalking, no snooping. Keep your own room. If you use all of the other girl's tampons, then you have to buy more tampons. Don't pick up any destructive habits together. Don't stay in your room all day watching Two and a Half Men. Don't do cocaine together. Don't become coquettes together because then you're just going to be doing lines of coke off each other's butts till the end of time. Don't make the other person get rid of all their clothes. If you use all the paper towel, you have to get more. Don't leave the bathroom door open because once you see someone pee, it's over. You can't let roommate disputes turn into relationship disputes. I think that lesbians can like just merge and they become the same person and then you're no fun to hang out with. And my number one piece of advice would be that if you fall in love with your best friend and you live together, move out and then you can start your relationship. And maybe I'm biased because I've lived with people before that I've been involved with in some way and I found that it is always a disaster. But that might just be me. Have you noticed no one has a birthday on this show? Like, no one's ever had a birthday.